You're so welcome to the White Carpet here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Gladys Osei Oredu, and tonight I am going to be filling you in with all that made issue during the week in the entertainment industry. Uh, Sakoje has been involved in a car theft case, but thank God he's been vindicated because uh, the person who actually sold the car to him has come out admitting that he sold that particular car to Sakoje. But we had earlier in the week when the news broke, we spoke with the CID to give us a bit more explanation into that and we will be sharing that with you here on the white carpet and guess what one time highlight musician Ophoria Mponsa Mr. All For Real says that he's bouncing back to circular music but God has revealed to him that his love songs actually preach love songs and so I uh, will be having Mr. All For Real telling us more about his bounce back to highlight music and of course Black Rasta has some regrets after all after he gets on fire he gets on heat he regrets them more <laughs> well what has he regretted about we will yeah, but he actually will be telling us that right here and KKD says that whatever Ray K's charges against him rather has affected his brand Positively, we'll be giving you details right here on the white carpet. The white carpet is proudly brought to you by Etel and Optimal Hair Relaxer. <laughs> The White Carpet is brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network. Right, you are still with us here on the White Carpet. And just in case you have just tuned in, this is the White Carpet. And, uh, well, the number you can always channel your communication, your comments, everything via is 0267 Four four zero two four. Well, you can feel a shoulder in my shorts here. I have some beauty pageants right here on the white carpet. So the men, shine your eyes because I am going to allow you to feast your eyes on the beauty pageants of. Uh, I think it's Miss Nigeria Ghana. Miss Nigeria Ghana. I was almost going to do the rearrangement. It's Miss. Nigeria, Ghana. Yeah, Nigeria comes first. Hi, ladies. Hello. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you. All for me tonight. Yes. Okay, so we'll get into the conversation very soon. Of course, um, we'll, we'll be talking to them and finding out more what they, their beauty actually stands for. But talking about beauty, let's also talk about fashion because they go hand in hand. Well, um, just last weekend, we had the Fashion Awards organized by Glitz. So it was the Glitz Fashion Awards. Here are some highlights for you.
จะเล่าทำเอาไปินเล่าทำเอ็มยูเอสนาบัตเอ็มยูเอสนาบัตเอ็มยูเอสนาบัตเอ็มยูเอสนาบัตเอ็มยูJust saw what happened at the g r e a t s fashion, and I saw how the Niger ladies are. Uh, we've got some beautiful Nigerian ladies right here with us in Ghana, and of course, you can see the only man sandwiched by women. How do you feel? <laughs> It's really not easy, t e r t i n pretty ladies. You feel powerful. Tell me that. <laughs> I honestly, I, yeah, when you, when you have been. Thirteen pretty ladies, including you, is really not easy. But of course, <laughs> it right, makes so I'm a strong man. The man talking is Franklin Cole, and you. Uh, uh, you are putting together the beauty pageant, yes. with Miss Nigeria Ghana beauty pageant. Yeah. What called for this? Um, uh, Miss Nigeria Ghana is it's not a new thing. Mm. Um, likewise, the way we have Miss Ghana UK, Miss Ghana everywhere, we have Miss Nigeria South Africa, Miss Nigeria Ghana, uh, Miss Nigeria US, and all that. And considering the numbers of the Nigerians living in Ghana, we thought it is wise enough to also have Miss Nigeria Ghana. Okay. And it's an avenue we're looking at, you know, bringing up the cultural um, integration and. Uh, The fr kind of friendship the Ghana and Nigeria has built over the years, yeah. we're like, okay, most of the Nigeria, most of the Nigeria company wants to penetrate Ghana market, yeah. and the ones who want to penetrate Nigeria Are market. Are you talking about penetrating? When you have penetrated already. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, okay, this is a, a good platform that for every company, for the two nations to come together. Yeah. So we're like, of course, we should have this here yeah. to help the two nations yeah. tighten up more of the, I mean, tighten the. Relationship. Okay. So of course that's that was in so 2020. So how exactly is the beauty pageant going to tighten the relationship with um, Ghana? You know, this is uh, a beauty pageant that promotes Nigeria culture and all that. And uh, if, if you looked at this year's edition, we have Joy Daddy as one of our sponsor. Ah, okay. Okay, and uh, Joy Daddy is. Do you need this drink? Yeah, it's a drink. It's, uh, no, no, I mean, do they drink? I'm asking uh, them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on. <laughs> okay, so if you look at Joy Daddy coming on board, that tells you something. Yeah. Joy Daddy would want to send a s p r o d u c t to Nigeria. Mm. Okay, so automatically he's also looking for a platform to write on. Mm. That is kind of bringing us together. Okay. So those are the kind of relationship we're looking at. Yeah. So Joy Daddy coming on board is sending a signal to Nigeria market. Okay. And then people will be like, What is Joy Daddy? So it's kind of promoting, promoting the relationship here in Ghana and opening you. doors for, for Joy Daddy out there out in Nigeria. There, yeah. Okay. And um, so this year, what are some of the prizes that is coming along with the crown? Yes. Previously, we've been having uh, a car at Star Price, mm -hmm. but this year we decide to go a different way. Okay. So we are investing into the ladies. Okay. Aside the exposure, we'll be giving them, which include uh, all paid expenses, trip to South Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nigeria, Abuja, mm -hmm. we're doing a one-year image branding. Mm -hmm. We're doing a one-year uh, international modeling contract. But if you're promoting relationships, strengthening the relationship between Nigeria and Ghana, mm -hmm. you should be talking about we, we touring the country, the Ghana country, um, knowing all the sites that sell the country and letting it out there to the world, um, especially Nigeria. You mean about Ghana? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Why do you want to go to South Africa? What are you going to do in South of Africa? Of course, we already have the girls here. And we of course, need... they are Nigerian. So why do you want to fly them to Lagos, Abuja, <laughs> <laughs> and not really comb through? Actually, Ghana flying well. them. No, actually, flying them to Abuja is not. It's not all of them. Mm. It's the queen, the one who wins. I they, understand. They, okay, okay what, what, the issue why is the know? authority over there okay. needs to appreciate what the Nigerians in diaspora are doing. Mm, okay. Okay. So imagine as a queen, it means you're becoming a beauty ambassador, mm. representing the Nigeria image in Ghana. Mm. So you need to be commended for that. You need you need to be appreciated for that, and that's why the authority in Abuja. Will be they, they will be inviting us though. Okay. We already have that sealed with them, that relationship. Mm. So they were like, okay, after the project, mm. we want to see, we want to host the three winners. Uh. So it's not just about flying them to <laughs> Nigeria. It's the uh, the authorities who want to appreciate. That this yeah. is what you've been up to. Thank so you. when is the event coming? The on? event is on the 17th of this month, which is uh, next week, that's Saturday. Next Saturday, okay. Yes, at National Theatre okay. and red carpet start at 6 p.m. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Next time, make it white carpet because. White is spotless, no red problem. is dented. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, um, hi, who is going to win? Um, let's see. 
Ah, yeah, she was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wish you all the best and um, congratulations in advance, whoever wears the crown. Um, may it be very, very positive, whatever projects you're working on. But what's the theme for this year? Yeah, project? promoting Nigeria culture through beauty. And aside that, the, the pet project for the foundation, which is Breast Cancer Awareness, mm. uh, whosoever that becomes the queen will embark on a massive campaign okay. all over the 10 regions of Ghana. Okay. It's a way of giving back to the Austin nation. Yeah. I mean, Ghana has been so, you see, the kind of hospitality we Nigerians enjoyed yeah. here is okay. so serious. Yeah. So we're like, no, we must give something back to them. Okay. So we'll be organizing a free breast cancer test in ah, all the 10 regions, nice. giving back to Ghana for having us in Ghana. Ah, yeah. that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> but of course, uh, we will have you here again. This, um, the next time, it might not be all of you, it will be just the three winners. Um, coming along with Franklin yeah. to do, tell us more <laughs> about how the whole exercise has been like. So, uh, good congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Right. So, um, Cole, thank you so much for passing through thank and sharing us. with us what you intend to do, your yeah. contribution to um, Ghana. But the yeah. next time, tour Ghana. No problem. We'll do that. We'll do that. Right, and we hope so, to have you uh, on the Saturday. On Saturday, right? Exactly. We'll Once I'm there. done here, I'll be right there. Thank Reserve you. Reserve VVVIP. Over VVVIP. <laughs> Okay, so I just am so excited and I am so sure you are equally excited. Why? Because All For Real has stepped on the stage for the first time in how long? Okay, it was such a break, yeah? Uh, quite a, some break, a couple of years, yeah? And, well, the revelation is amazing that his song preaches love and God says, love your neighbor as yourself. We will be delving deep into that conversation after this break. Don't go away. Just a couple of days ago, he stepped on stage and did one of his old tunes with his mentor, Daddy Lumba during Daddy Lumba's birthday concert. Let's take a watch. When we come back, we're talking about that man. Not Daddy Lumba, but that man. So, Mr. All For Real, and I am so happy to also let you know that he's right here with us on the white carpet. Hi, Mr. All For Real, hi, for real hi, 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 sweetheart. I should be calling you pastor, right? Um, or uh, evangelist? Anything, anything or goes. Because anything I'm goes. still... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, many are confused already that mm. you have a congregation, right. and all of a sudden, you come back and you realize that your old tunes, that some years ago you said right. we should not play or nah. sing <laughs> now makes you feel that that is what god wants you to, to do. do god is directing you to that one right going straight into conversation what are you up to um after just like you know um thinking about this whole thing for a long time okay you know it's like just i i just feel that love is you know the pillar of the gospel of jesus christ mm. And I'm now just like coming to the realization that what I was doing, mm. the songs that I was doing, was not that secular. It was something that I would call love songs. Mm. And I believe that um, singing this was healing families and bringing them together. So I, I just want to tell people what I was doing wasn't actually like a secular song that people like, you know, said it was. Um, what I, I, I believe it was like, it's, it's a love song, and love is also part of the gospel, so that's the main when, reason. When, when you sing a line like, on a very sad day, right. what's the preaching in there? Yeah, um, on a very sad <laughs> day is like more of an adult music, it's like, it talks about, you know, relationship between a man and a woman, and, you know, so it's, it's kind of quaint, it's not like, you know, 
saying the right or saying it plain for people to understand. You know, so that is uh, what the song is about. Okay. Um, I, I, I heard somebody asking a question mm. that, um, but he has a congregation he preaches to every Sunday. Right. So um, what is Ophiri saying? Um, how is the congregation accepting your, your twist? Well, I, I would say it is, it's, it's a twist. It's just like, you know, reading in the Bible, love thy neighbor as thyself. Mm -hmm. And I believe that um, the love between a man and a woman is sanctioned by God. I didn't make it. It's God who made it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people just want to say it's wrong. And I say, well, how come it's wrong? Because the maker made it. You know, so it's up to us if we will talk about it or not. I believe that even in my church, we have to start talking about before people get into marriages and stuff. Okay. I also believe um, people can enjoy love music and then in the morning lift up their hands and worship the Lord. So can you, can you sing some of your high life tunes in church for offer tree or for praises and worship or for inspiration? Well, uh, it depends on the timing, okay. you know. Um, if I will sing that song, it will be in a setting of maybe uh, mar mar a marriage taking place or mm. a wedding taking place. It's, you know, this is hypocritical. Sometimes I don't understand why we, we talk or preach about love in, or from the pulpit and then refuse love music because it's love music, you okay. know. And so I, I, I don't still get it. But um, this is what I feel to do now. I mean, okay. uh, I, 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 I'm not seriously into, I wasn't seriously into gospel music. Mm. It was a difficult part for me because, um, you know, creating it and you know I enjoy it more when I'm um, on on on, uh, on the pulpit worshiping God yeah. rather than uh, taking it as a as a as a business you know okay yeah. um, have, have you had members of your church um, asking you questions well as to um, aren't you going astray aren't you going away from the anointing what 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 I I, I just believe is that people will see you going astray mm. But I depend on the word of God. The Bible says a righteous man falls seven times, but rises up. And so wherever I'm going, I have the eye of God on mm -hmm. me. And I believe that what I am doing and what I'm saying is true. Okay. People just don't want to accept. People, maybe it has been preached over and over <laughs> and over yeah. that, you know, the love between a man and a woman is wrong. Sometimes, I don't know. Maybe they are putting fornication mm -hmm. and this thing together at the same time, you okay. know. God is not against love. God yeah. is not against procreation. Okay. God is the, God is why He made it. Yeah. I mean, I came from it. So, yeah. but what God hates is like you know uh, what comes out. People like fornicating, jumping from here and there, yeah. and that that is wrong. Okay. You know that makes it wrong. Okay. But the love song or people listening or you know people coming together to yeah. love, it, it's not wrong. Okay. Before we continue with the conversation, I see you holding um, a CD. Is yeah. that a latest track? Yeah, this is my latest track, and okay. um, I just want to give it to you. If you oh, like. thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> so that. this for you. This I'm for so you. grateful. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Alewa. Yeah. I'm grateful. Thank yeah, you. Uh, but l let me let me see. Um, I think I would want you to do a live performance. Um, it is wow. new. <laughs> and so um, even before I will listen to it, mm. I'd, I'd love to hear it from you yourself. The yeah. horse's own mouth yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> a line or two be fine. A, 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 like... Um, Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you. I won't Thank do it for you. the audience. I'll just do it for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so it goes like um, Only me tough you, oh my hmm. Then some beat comes in like, cha, 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 cha. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you are my queen of Shiba, Shiba, Shiba. You they make me Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. And baby, I love you. Mm. You know, so that <laughs> <laughs> I see. Um, some are speculating that oh, don't mind the furry, he's broke. Really? Mm. I don't, I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I will never be broke. Mm. Never. Okay. Um. Uh, they think that the offer tree and God, the kites were not coming. No. Very no, well. I'm not. I'm, 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 not so. I'm not depending on that. Mm. I just do it because it's my spiritual gift to do okay. it. But you know, God has blessed me so much, and I don't think. Um, I will ever be. You know, sometimes you run out of cash. That doesn't yeah. mean you're broke. I'm not. Okay. I will never be broke. What? I mean, I'm blessed. Okay. That's what I would Amen. say. I'm you blessed. Are indeed. Yeah, I'm blessed. You are. I'm blessed. 
Yeah. So what was the new agenda for Ufuri Amponsa? Well, this 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 uh, the album that I'm trying to bring out, and the album is titled Resurrection. Resurrection. It is um, a resurrection of whatever I wanted it to do. It's waking up again. Everything is new. I'm a new person, mm. and I feel new inside. I, I just feel like I'm 20 years. Old. <laughs> How old are you, if I may ask? Um, I won't say it on TV. <laughs> But yeah. how long did it have to take you to realize that the songs you shied away from when you received the calling are truly what God, the message God wants you to be given to the people? And oh, after all, I've been doing that already, so why did I shy away from them? Well, from the, onset, from the onset, I never felt uh, I, I was going away from it. I just felt I wanted to break, just have a break, you know. So that, that's what I... And people should realize that I was in a church. Mm. I it, it wasn't like Ofori got a call and some people are saying he saw angels and stuff. <laughs> you know, people are saying whatever yeah. stuff they, you know. I was in the church already, and you know, I, I I just felt this was time for me to just like you know, um, you know, just go back to God. Because well, how did you receive your calling? What what, what well, dawned on you? Well, um, it was way back in 1994. Okay. When I, I, I first, um, you know, had an encounter with the Lord Jesus. And, you know, I was even um, being sent to seminary that time. But unfortunately, um, I headed towards, you know, another direction, mm. you know. Which I, direction I, was that? Like um, the love music okay. that I, I played. So I believe that God has a purpose, mm. a reason why I, I'm, he, 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 he appointed me there. Yeah. So... Uh, let's see what God. Th th it's not about it. This, this is not the end of the story. This, this is just a middle part of it. Yeah. People should just wait. You know, yeah. there, there's going to be a climax. There's going to be an ending, uh -huh. and I believe that the story will end nicely. I am so anxious. Yeah. Uh, perhaps. <laughs> okay. So, if you got a gig to play um, mm. any of your old tunes, right? Would you play them? I would do it. You would do it. Yeah. It doesn't matter where nightclub, wherever you would do it. I will do it. I believe was you play that. I will do it. Okay. Can yeah. we can we just go out? I'll snap my finger for you. <laughs> I will do it anywhere. I mean, I mean, uh, I didn't quite understand. Okay. Sometimes people say um, the songs we were doing. You know, I met a guy and he said, you know, oh, you were doing, you were singing for the devil. I said, what? Yeah. Can, I won't ever sing for the devil. Mm. I'm singing about love. Who says I'm singing for the devil? And love, love, <laughs> love conquers it all. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so it's it's kind of lack of knowledge, mm. and it's kind of like people are just scared. You know, the the, the territory that I'm entering, yeah. they feel maybe uh, I'll be lured into certain things. Yeah. But already yeah. I've I've already I'm I'm already strong inside. Mm. You know, I've mm. I've been there before, and I know what I'm doing. Just leave me alone. Mm. Pray for me if you, you feel I'm going astray, mm. and God listens to prayer, and okay. he'll bring me back. So what, what do you make of um, Lord Kenya, who equally has love songs and says that um, he doesn't want them played again because well, he's received the it, 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 it is his own opinion. Okay. I mean, he has a different calling from me, mm. and so I cannot talk for him. Okay. And what I, I, I believe is, you know, everybody the, the work that we are working is a spiritual work mm. you you're just led you feel yeah. it inside mm. so don't tell somebody if he's a carpenter to stop the carpentry because he's called yeah. or you are preaching though you have to you know i have to stop my singing and preach with you no because probably i'm not a preacher yeah probably i am you somebody who heals you know yeah, yeah yeah i'll minister through that yeah. so um it's it's up to you to listen to what you feel inside. Mm. Yeah. But of course, I know you have a lot of love in you. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do, and this is this is what I want to exhibit. You know, okay. and I, especially I feel I'm not called to preach to Christians. Okay. I'm called to minister to those who are weak, those who are like me, those mm. who are sinners. Okay. And so I will tell them. For example, I was saying to people, you know, the other side of things is different from. Where I am, like the like Christian, you know, mm. what I, I see is people, there is a door, but the door is shut mm. for people who are doing secular music. They don't, they are, they, it's shut. And I believe that I, I am just like called to tell them, you know, you can do this and still worship God, come mm. to God, you okay. know, pray to Him. 
It's not human beings who can save you. It's God. The Bible says, those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm -hmm. And that's a wonderful thing. The judge is God. It's not you. Sometimes we are here, but we don't understand certain things. God takes the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. He, does, he, he, he uses everything, everything. And my walk with God is different from other people's. Yeah. You know, so I cannot talk for them. Okay. But what I'm saying is like we, we get too fanatical about yeah. certain things, about mm. you know, the way a Christian should act. Some people don't even wear you know, makeup. They don't, yeah. you know, it's up to them. Mm. You can leave that. Some it's people choice. say uh, they are celibate. Mm. It's, it's up to you. It's up to you and your God, how yeah. you feel inside. Mm. Some people reject money and worldly things. But they don't even eat. It's up to them. It's their own spiritual journey. Yeah. But I can't talk for them. For me, um, you know, and it's wonderful. One day uh, there was uh, something in the Bible that I was just like, you know, Jesus said, um, John the Baptist came not eating, and people said he had a demon. And, you know, he came eating and drinking, and they said also he had a demon. So what, what I would say, leave, me, leave, leave people alone to, you know, to, to go their path. That is, it's, it's their destiny. Yeah. Leave them alone. Mm. Yeah. Well, Ofori, I, I, I'm just <laughs> I'm enjoying you, actually. I, right. I don't want to end this conversation, but um, time is just racing, and I, I have to let you go. I know. Uh, yes, but uh, th there are a lot of messages here. I, I wish I could read some of them. Uh, okay, so Portia says I should ask you, so um, what exactly is Ofori's message for us? Uh, would you want to speak to that? Yeah, my message to you is like, love your neighbor, love God. Mm. God is first. And, you know, I, I got this inspiration from this word. that Somebody came to Jesus and asked him, um, what is the most important of the, of, the, of the laws? And he said, love God with all your heart and love thy neighbor as I said. Mm. And so this is what I'm doing. You know, they, people are just taking Christianity as just like, you know, worshiping and praising and they feel they are Christians. Yeah. Some are speaking in tongues, they, so they feel they are Christians more than other people. They yeah. feel they, they know God more than other people. Yeah. But, but God, it's, it's not like that. Okay. But if I were God, I wouldn't have chosen even me because I don't trust myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But, but he, sees, he, 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 he uses a different criteria mm, exactly. of calling people. Yeah. He looks at the heart and, and not. The what I want people to do if you are a Christian is go out there, show it to people, you know, love them. Go and visit the sick. Mm. Go and give out the small thing that you have to the sick. Yeah. Go and love people. Mm. That is the Christian duty. It's not just being in the room and praying and waiting for God. Go out there and show yes. what God has done for you. So, Wune <laughs> Mabele also comes in. You know, it, when, when it comes to, you know, uh, for example, you and your loved one mm. sitting down. You cannot play worship throughout. It will be no, boring. You, you but can. in the morning too, I, will, I can't play a Abel because yeah. I have to worship. So yeah. I will just stand up and lift up my hands and worship God. And you in know. the evening you do Abel was. <laughs> I mean, if it's, it's, if it's with your wife. Okay. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. But, people, but how's your wife doing? She's fine. Okay. She's fine. She's fine. Okay. And yeah. then um, your, your children, everybody's happy. They are That's, good. Daddy is now going to preach love. They, they were wondering. But that, <laughs> they, they'll be wondering I have to just like sit, there, sit them down yeah. and explain things to them and say, you know, like, you know, I was, I was preaching love. It's, mm. it's some kind of love that okay. I was preaching. So. Okay, at least yeah. you can hear Aliwa playing in the background. Right. Not a bad tune at all. <laughs> I love you all and thank you. Thank you, Ofori. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Thank you. But of course, um, in the next moment, well, uh, Francis is on the standby and I just cannot wait to hear where he was last weekend. Uh, Ofori, thank you. And our critics come on pretty, pretty shortly. <laughs> You're still with us here on the white carpet. We have our critics right here with us, Francis Doku, entertainment analyst, and Chris Corney, yep, entertainment yep, 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 enthusiast. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this introduction. I yeah. give you position by force. <laughs> Right, um, it's been, I believe it's been a wonderful week. Where were you last weekend? Okay, don't explain. You were there at the Glitz Fashion Awards that yeah, 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 yeah. we enjoyed except of. Yeah, so yeah. that was good work done. Congratulations. 
Same to you. Uh, David said she didn't have transport. <laughs> <laughs> But my, my sympathy is too, because mine you lost, and I know it affected you very, very badly. But that's okay. Mine Life goes lost. on. Um, Sako Dier has mine been lost, <laughs> mine. Mine mine. against us now. Um, didn't you watch that match? Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean they've been okay. trying for four and a half years. Yeah, and, and eventually they, they got there. It's, it's not, it's that not was bad. Painful. I've been beating you for four that years was, and then you, you but win But that's one. okay. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's one of those things. You I know, guess. it happens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this week we woke up to um middle of the week that Sarko Dier had been invited by the police and granted bail over a car, an Infinity car, a saloon car he was trying to register. A reported as stolen car. Now the question. Eventually, we have this guy, some D something something coming out Dusty. to Dusty D coming out to admit that he sold the car to Starquadier. Now the question I want to ask: Will this affect his brand in any way at all? I don't think so. I mean, <coughs> uh, <coughs> there's a principle in law that the buyer the buyer beware. I mean, you should be very careful or ask questions to be very certain that whoever you are buying anything from is a true owner of it because yeah. no one can sell to you what they don't own mm. you know so maybe on that part he could have found out if 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 really that the vehicle belonged to the person who yeah. was selling it to him or not but as to whether that would affect his brand i think it's a very very it's a long shot um i mean things happen um, and in, in show business we say uh, no publicity is bad publicity you know? <laughs> it's true though um there are some things that would happen that you would think would hurt you badly but eventually would rather help you you know your yeah. ratings and all that so uh, it also depends on how you manage it mm. you know i think that the best is for 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 them you know to give explanation mm. and if they have then move on mm. they let the public decide what they want to decide mm. if it will affect you you will know in the long term whether it will or not but okay. the point is for you to manage it you have to say your position on the matter yeah. you know so that everybody knows what your position is so okay. they decide for themselves what they think you are but i don't think in a in the short term it will help it will hurt his mm. brand in any way Chris, you think so? Uh, just like Francis is saying, I don't think this is going to do any damage to his brand and his reputation. Considering the fact that the said gentleman has come out to admit, yes, mm. a, tr a said transaction went on and has gone further to give explanations why. Uh, like Francis is saying, if, it's, if it was a different case, I would have expected Sarko and his team to go out there to state their case. Yeah. But now the general public everyone knows what really their matter is so i don't think it's an one he didn't steal the car he's been using a car apparently for a while i think yeah. over a year yeah. or so so you know it's not something that's going to affect his brand not at all right still talking about brand um kkd says that whatever happened with a refueling thompson um has affected his brand positively now people are kinder to him. You want to listen to KKD say that? It has affected the brand KKD. People have become kinder to me. People have become more embracing of me. And I think another thing that has, uh, it's done for the brand is, is redirected the energies of the brand towards those who want to help us soar. You know, no matter how good you are, you know, no matter how brilliant you are, there will be those who will be your detractors. You can't focus on those. You must focus on the good things that you can do, the good contributions you can bring to society and get on with it. You know, because, uh, you know, I've told my children, my son is now 21, my girl, he's working for Tom Ford. Uh, my daughter is 19 now. She's in second year at university, studying political science and international relations. And I've always told them, in this life, there's only three things. You want to please your God, you want to be well, and you want to be happy. And I think I'm on track. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just thinking about it and saying, well, I'm sure, I mean, you know what your brand is. Mm. You know how to measure your brand, the responses to your brand and all that. Perhaps he's done that. Perhaps mm. he's, he's, he's sampled people or based on observations, you know, and, and how people relate to him. You think his uh, brand has gone up. But I, 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 would, I, would, I would disagree with that mm. um, very respectfully, you know. Um, <clears throat> I don't think anybody before this incident or the, the incident that was talking about um, regarded KKD any any less than yeah. he was. 
and related to him differently. Yeah. I think that uh, if anything at all, you know, people related to him like the celebrity he was. Yeah. So I don't think anything mm. has changed. If it's think that people relate to him, <laughs> you know, better now than Maybe they're pretending very well. Yeah, maybe they are. Maybe they are. But I'm saying that I don't think that relations, mm. relation with relating with him will be different now from uh, be. because people would, if you meet them, they would like for you to think that the we, same, we you know, that they had with yeah. you is is what pertains. So they won't limit it in your, in your face. Fold. But the point is, what do they say behind you? <laughs> that's what matters. What do they say when you are not there? Yeah. Um, that's what matters, and that's mm. how you measure to see. Okay. Um, blind, you know, sort of tasting yeah. is that a guy is not there. How do you re re rate him? If you're able to do that and you still think it's positive, mm. then I think, but just saying that people relate to you, I think yeah. that's a bit uh, too unscientific. In my okay, opinion. Chris, you also think so? That is uh, unscientific? <laughs> hmm, I actually was listening to him on radio today with okay. Iso Pele. Mm. I think they were on for uh, about four hours. <laughs> Uh, four hours. Yeah. Four hours. Wow. Then he really, really explained himself. But no, it wasn't about <laughs> you know the rape issue. Okay. It was just a a show f you know dedicated to playing. They were playing music. classic yeah music, okay. hanging okay. out okay, Katie, talking mm. about okay. different issues. Okay. Yeah. For me, I think somewhere somehow, truth be told, is affected him in a way mm. because when this case broke, when you go to his social media handles mm. and pages. You yeah. could see the sort of negativity. Mm. The very people who hailed him and said very amazing things about him coming back to say all this thing. Some way, somehow, the sort of respect, the way people perceived him, people's perception about him has changed some way, somehow. In as much as he's, he, I think afterwards, he's been able to, I can't say if it's totally redeemed his image yeah. or whatever he's doing a lot of things is out there you know doing a lot of things like actually nothing has happened yeah. however in the minds of people or people's opinions and perception about him some way somehow has kind of changed and is affected him in a way people might not see him the same way yeah. they used to, to so it is, he might be thinking there's a positive thing or he might think nothing has changed yeah. but with people people's perceptions and mindset about him okay um, uh, i have something special um, planned for you chris but uh before i go to that one don't worry don't be scared <laughs> before i go to that one black raster has more regrets uh he's well he's been talking about um uh, maybe i should post him when we come back we we'll talk about black okay. raster Oh, oh no no no! Why is it Let's Chris, go. No no no! Chris's birthday. It's Christmas birthday. That was a surprise. Oh, birthday. Yeah. It's my birthday. Okay. <laughs> then um, <laughs> we'll talk about Black Rasta <laughs> because he has more regrets. But um, okay. So can I have you um going to wait for me um somewhere that you see out there very soon? Happy birthday to David. Uh, director David Odo is your birthday. What's your birthday yesterday? And so this is meant for you. Happy birthday, David. Happy birthday. And so David's special meal is KK. They should bring it so, on here later. <laughs> bring it here, let's eat. David's special meal is KK. And so we cutting KK on air. I'm going to the control room. We're all going to the control room right now to cut the cake and then we'll close the show right there. So let's go cutting the cake in the control room. Oh. KK or cake? <laughs> <laughs> KK, KK. Happy Happy birthday to you. to have you with us you always come sit here and you scream everybody this is david he screams <laughs> he screams that cut it cut it cut it and he's watching the time you have two minutes i know david has been wonderful you've been a wonderful team player it's more, it's more, and you know the white carpet is all equally two years old in october it's nice to have you as an october born and there are brighter days ahead <laughs> enjoy your day enjoy the kk please mamun <laughs> <Right. laughs> 
so um oh, it's a wrap it's a wrap yeah it's, it's, a wrap. Wrap. <laughs> it's also been wonderful having you uh on the white carpet but i believe francis has a message for david first francis yeah oh, yes yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah francis would want to say one or two to david <laughs> david all the best then eh? and i hope we win the league this year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next week we have a lot of leftovers that we would want to share with you. Of course, I could not read your messages because we definitely. <laughs> wanted to celebrate the moment with David so I'll read your messages next week when we open the show before we go into other issues my name once again is Gladys Osei already you can always catch a repeat of the white carpet on Sundays at 8 p.m. on Joy News on Multi TV make a date with us next Saturday on Joy News at 8 p.m. thank you so much